things about using video that really was a challenge for me was trying to even just con you know contemplate or conceive of what was I going to say on a video that would be useful to me in a marketing context. Uh, you know, not only was I not comfortable doing that and had no experience doing it. You know, there's this kind of sense that you know a lot of professionals, certainly in the psychology profession, have this sense that marketing is something you you don't really do. It, it, we have it's sort of like we reluctantly want to get out there and promote it, though we clearly want a full waiting room and have a, have a successful practice. So what would I say on a video that would be relevant or helpful? And that was a real challenge. And again, trial and error, it took quite a while to sort of figure out how do I craft a message that matters? Um, and what it really came down to in watching myself on video and listening to the, the words and the, and the message was that it allowed me to start developing a relationship in general, showing my personality, uh, showing people who I was, not necessarily that I was trying to sell a service or sell a practice, I was trying to show who I am because I'm trying to attract the people that are going to be comfortable working with me and that's what I learned the hard way through a great deal of trial and error and it's something that would have been a lot more helpful if I had a coach of some sort that would have gotten me there faster and helped me get that message. You know, it's really very easy to know what to say on video. There are two things that I always think about before I go on to a video and create one. What are the questions that my friends keep asking me about what I do? When you're at a party, when you're at a barbecue, when you see your friends, what do they ask you? Keep writing those questions down and then answer those questions. The second one is, what do your clients ask you? Those people that you're doing business with, what do they want to know? Go on and answer those questions. So it's not just who am I and what do I do? You can answer specific questions that they have. If this were on video and somebody wanted to know where you should look or what you should dress or should you sit or stand, I can give them that answer and video is a perfect way to do that. Now one of the things that I've learned over the years, and I learned this from a photography marketing guru of mine, and what he indicated was very early on is don't talk about price. Don't talk about dollars. So many people would call me when it came time for photography and they would, well, what's the price of an 8x10? One of the reasons they ask you that is because they have no idea what else to ask. So show who you are, answer about what you do, answer questions specifically about your business, your practice that your clients ask you, and that's some great material for you for video. <music>